In this video, we're going to discuss the price to earnings ratio, which is also known as the PE ratio or the price to earnings multiple. So you calculate the PE ratio by dividing a company's market value per share, which if it's a publicly traded company, you just look up the company's stock price. So that's the same as its market value per share. And you divide that by the company's earnings per share. Now the earnings per share could be what's called trailing, which is for the past 12 months. Or it could be forward, where you're looking at an expectation of what the company's earnings per share will be in the coming 12 months, in the future 12 months. Okay, So if you were to look at the uh, forward earnings per share, then we would call this a forward P-E ratio. If you look at, uh, if you use the earnings per share from the past 12 months, the trailing EPS, uh, then we would call this a trailing uh, P-E ratio. But let, let's get into the mechanics. So let's say that we have a company called Tech World, and they have a stock price of $60 a share and their earnings per share is $4. So if we just plug these numbers into our formula, we'd see 60 divided by four is 15. Okay, that's the PE ratio for tech world. Now what people would say, like an analyst, you would hear them say tech world trades at 15 times earnings. That's very common to say that. And so this 15 times earnings, what people are really saying is that the price of a dollar of earnings, so if we think about the price of one dollar of earnings per share, what would it cost to buy a dollar of earnings? And you're saying it's $15 to buy one dollar of earnings. Now, if you think about it, you're not actually buying a dollar of earnings per share. You can't you can't do that. Uh, but that's it's just giving you an idea of relative value for this particular company. It's cost fifteen dollars to buy one dollar of earnings per share. Okay. Now, you have situations where you'll have companies that have very different PE ratios, and sometimes it might be two firms in the same industry, and they have very different PE ratios, and you might wonder why is that the case. For example. This uh, tech world is at 15 times earnings, but the, let's say there was another company that was at trading at 29 times earnings. And we'd say, well, why is this other company, this competitor, 29, whereas tech world is 15? It could be that there are some differences in risk between the companies. It could be that one company is a lot riskier, uh, they have a higher cost of equity capital, but it also could be that one company has a, a lot more expected growth. Investors are basically thinking that, okay, this company, for example, so right here where they've got 29 as their multiple, their PE ratio, investors might be thinking, hey, this company here is going to grow a lot more than what tech world is. So they're basically taking their expectations of the future. They're expecting that two, three, four years down the road, this company's earnings per share are going to be a lot higher. Uh, they're they're going to, so they're basically like pricing that growth into the stock. 